If there's one thing for certain, it's human beings make honest mistakes, and police officers are no exception. The U.S. Supreme Court case of U.S. v. Leon addressed the question of whether or not evidence which was obtained through a peace officer's honest mistake could still be used in a criminal prosecution. At this point, you may be thinking, yeah, yeah, good faith exception, I got it. But if you live in Texas, you need to pay close attention because our rules are much, much different and more restrictive than the rest of the country. The Leon case started when narcotics officers applied for a search warrant. A neutral and detached magistrate found probable cause and issued the search warrant. The officers then took the warrant, kicked the door, and, as expected, found a large amount of narcotics. The search warrant was later found to be insufficient to establish probable cause, though. In other words, another judge at some point said, yeah, I know this other judge found probable cause for this search warrant, but I just read it and there's not probable cause to me, so the warrant is invalid. The lower court, along the lines of the fruit of the poisonous tree doctrine, set the defendants free, since, in that court's opinion, the evidence was obtained through what turned out to be an invalid warrant, which made the search unlawful. Of course, the police officers were probably frustrated since they did everything they were supposed to do and a judge told them the warrant, which they then executed, was good. Ultimately, though, the U.S. Supreme Court disagreed with the lower court and upheld the initial convictions. They stated the police had acted on good faith, essentially had no way of knowing the probable cause they presented was insufficient when a judge told them it was. In other words, how were they supposed to know? The Supreme Court held an officer who acts in objective good faith reliance upon a warrant issued by a neutral magistrate acts in good faith, and the evidence should not be suppressed if the warrant is later found to be defective. But here's where you need to have your head in the game if you're working with criminal law in Texas. The Texas Code of Criminal Procedure adds a requirement to our law by stating all warrants must be based upon probable cause. So, in Texas, if an officer executes a warrant issued by a neutral magistrate and it is later discovered or essentially ruled by the same or another judge, there was insufficient probable cause in the supporting affidavit, the fruits of the execution of the warrant will be suppressed, even if the executing officer knew nothing of the deficiencies or executed the warrant in good faith. The bottom line is, because of the Code of Criminal Procedure and existing Texas case law, the good faith exception does not apply in Texas. As a peace officer, you may not be crazy about this, but as a citizen, you've got to love it. It is an extra level of protection and encourages police to dot their I's and cross their T's, essentially good police work, when presenting an affidavit to a judge to get a search warrant.